Hello, this is Jake with Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to customize settings and configure charts in the CQG QTrader platform. So to start off, let's open up a chart. Head over to the top left-hand corner of your window, and on the Chart tab, click it, and this will open up a chart. And as you can see here in the top left-hand corner of your chart window, this is where the name of your chart will be. I am currently trading with the crude light of May 2018. So now there are multiple options we can customize within this chart to your liking. The first one I'll be showing you is how to change the type of chart. To change the type of chart, right click on the ribbon of your chart window. And when you right click, you'll see you have multiple different options here. We have bar charts, candlesticks, constant volume bars, lines, point figures, etc. So for my example, I'll be clicking on the candlestick chart. So now that we have our candlestick chart open, let me show you some visual features you can customize. So if you head over to the right hand side of your chart window and you click and hold on the Y axis, you can change the field of view of your chart and zoom in and out. You can maximize your window by clicking on the square in the top right of your chart. And as you can see, my chart is now in full screen. You're not locked in the full screen. If you would like to exit this, head over to the top right hand corner of the platform and under the window tab, click and then restore to the name of your chart. One very important feature that I do not believe is turned on by default is the ability to turn on display tabs. To do this, right click once again in the chart ribbon on the top of your chart and go down to the bottom of our right click options and choose the option that says always display tabs. And now you can see here we have a tab and we can open up more tabs by clicking on the plus button. So now that we have our tabs on display, we can open up as many different tabs as we'd like. And on these multiple tabs, we can open up multiple contracts all within our chart trading window. And I'll get back to this in just one moment. As for visual features of the chart, there are still multiple options to be taken care of. For example, if we wanted to change the color of our candlesticks, if we right click on one of our candlesticks and go to modify candle, we have the ability to change the color of our candlesticks. As you can see by default, they are currently at black, green, and red, and you can change these to whatever you like. I'll be keeping mine as default for my demo though. As for the background of our chart, if we head to the top left-hand corner and click on setup and go to chart colors, as you can see, there's just about an option for every single feature of a chart that you can change the color of. You can change your cursor. Right here, you have the ability to change your background color, the scale text, the grid color, etc. If you do change your background to perhaps black, if that's more visually appealing, or white, you may need to mess around with some of the other colors just so they look okay. But for my example, I'll be leaving it as the default gray. And you can also change the font of a chart. If you head back up to the top left hand corner in the setup tab and head over to chart fonts, you can change the font, your font style and the size of your font. If for whatever reason, the default font is not visually appealing to you. Now, let me show you some of the practical features for when trading in the chart. As I mentioned before, up in the top left hand corner here, we have the option to open up multiple tabs for multiple contracts. To change the contract that you'd like to trade with, if you left click on your chart, as you will notice in the bottom left hand corner, a white window will now pop up with a cursor. Here we have the ability to manually enter in the contract that we'd like to trade with. So for example, if I would like to trade with Euro Forex, I would simply type in EU in the white box. And if I press in enter, as you can now see, my chart has changed to the Euro Forex. If I wanted to trade the E mini SMP, I will left click on this chart. As you can see, the window has activated in the bottom left hand corner. And now I'll type in the contract for E mini. I will type in EP. 
And as you can see here, the E mini SMP contract is now being displayed in my candlestick chart. And we have the option to change these charts on the fly. If for example, we are trading multiple contracts at one time. Now that I've shown how to display multiple contracts at a time, you may be asking how to change the time interval of my chart. So if we head over to the top left hand corner and right click on our ribbon of our chart window, we have the ability to change the chart interval. We can do so by one minute. If I right click again, five minutes, 10 minutes, etc. You can go all the way up to daily time. Each candle will represent a day. You can go out to quarterly and so forth. Now, if you wanted to do this manually or adjust each contract individually, as you did before when changing the contract, left click on the contract. And this time, instead of entering in your contract, you will be first typing a comma to let it designate that you are typing in a time interval and then type in the acronym for your interval you would like to set. So for example, if I wanted to change this by one minute, I would type in comma one. And now each candlestick is represented by one minute. You could do this with five minutes. So if I type in comma five, it'll change it to five. I could do comma 10, etc. I could also do daily. I would type in comma D C and this will show me a daily candlestick. I could do weekly comma W. I could go out to monthly comma M quarterly comma Q and so forth for a year. You would do Y, etc. One final feature for this video that I'd like to make note of is if you right click anywhere within your chart, you can change your cursor. You can do so with crosshairs or without crosshairs. As you can see with crosshairs, I now have them activated. And right here on my axis, you have the time displayed as well as the current price action. If you right click and go to pointer tools, we have a multitude of different pointer tools here to use at your disposal. Fibonacci, GAN, speed lines, linear regression. And we can also add studies and modify study parameters as well. Thanks for watching. If this video helped, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to give us a call or send us an email. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more informative content related to the futures market.